I posted, I just got back from an amazing vacation with my mom and sister, uncle, aunt, cousin, it was fantastic. I uh, went to a wonderful place called Canyon Ranch where we got to hike a lot, do a lot of exercise classes, eat right. Um, it's really been awesome, so awesome that uh, since the vacation I've actually lost five pounds, which um, definitely is a, is a really, really cool thing. I'm back on track, so uh, I know how hard it is to get on track, but I'm definitely back on it, so that's good. Um, while I was there, I uh, noticed a few things as I was vlogging. Um, I really, really want to keep um, my vlogging rig down as, as absolutely small as possible without compromising my um, my audio or my picture, or things like that. Um, those of you who know me know that I'm in absolutely in love with my Sony FDR X3000. I really think it is the absolute perfect vlogging camera. Um, it's just perfect in every situation, uh, but mostly because it's compact, it's small, and it's very light. Uh, I do have other things, contraption gizmos, gadgets that are a little bit on the more weighty side, um, but for traveling, it's just really not, uh, not for me. This is my, my beautiful love. So today I thought I would talk about audio. Um, audio is something that is, is really confusing for me still. I'm still trying to get the, the knack of it. Um, I think the audio that I'm currently on is not very good because it sounds very um, cave-like. Uh, however, when I use this audio, I think it's, it's much, much better. That being said, when I was out uh, doing some hiking or walking around the resort at Canyon Ranch, um, I did get a lot of wind noise. We're trying to figure out how to see Jen, but uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to manage it. So I decided to put this on. I'm going to give that a shot today uh, because, again, I just want to make my rig as absolutely light and small as possible. I'm also really not a fan of the... Um, uh, the dead cats and like the big microphone on top of the camera, the Casey Neistat style. Uh, again, I'm like a super weakling, so I don't want to carry this humongous uh, contraption when I'm just trying to get some shots, have a good time, and uh, kind of forget about that I'm filming and just like enjoy the moment as opposed to like being a professional photographer and trying to get the lighting and the this and the that. I know all of that is really important. Um, but I really just want to go have fun and <laughs> that actually is the most important thing to me. And not everything will be perfect, but again, I just want to get things light, easy, simple. So let's give this a shot and see how it goes. All right, so I'm back on the FDRX 3000. Uh, we're going to give these little guys a, a shot right now and see how they do in uh, sunny Florida. Although lately, sunny Florida has been windy, rainy, yucky Florida. So hopefully we can get a good wind test, and I'm sure we will today. All right, so I'm just walking around my building. Um, it's strange. There's actually, like, no, no wind today, but it's really weird because... Um, the sky, let me just uh, turn around so you can see the sky. Yeah, man, that's some scary looking sky. It's going to get nasty in a minute. Well, there's a little little breeze, um, but hopefully this is making a difference with the little sticker on it. Um, we will see how that goes. Now, I live in Delray Beach. Delray Beach is a uh, they used to call it the village by the sea, but it's like definitely the city by the sea right now. A lot of people live here, but it's a awesome, fun little town to live in. All right, as you can see, I'm on a really, really busy street right now. And I'm curious to see when I switch the type of audio how that's going to affect um, the the thing. All right, so I'm back. Um, it's getting really, really dark outside, so I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible. Uh, next thing I'm going to be using uh, sort of a twofer. Um, I have these amazing uh, 
Bluetooth microphone and receiver from Sony and uh, I'm hopeful that this will work that way I don't have to use something like this on top of my uh, FDR X3000 because I really don't like these things at all uh, so let's go ahead with the setup and then the next thing that I'm going to be using is uh, an omnidirectional lavalier, also from Sony. Um, can you tell I really like the companies and like to stay with the same company for everything? Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be using this lavalier from Sony, um, but I'm going to make a slight modification. Instead of having it attached to me up here, I want to see if uh, wind or uh, wind noise reduction is reduced if I actually have it under the shirt. And to do that. I'm going to use uh, these, um, let's see if you can see what that is, uh, so hopefully that will um, uh, make things sound better. Alright, so I've got it kind of like put in place so to speak, uh, I've just got it uh, below the shirt and uh, let's see how this does with, uh, with the Sony Action Cam. Alright, so I currently have my uh, uh, Bluetooth and Sony lavalier um, uh, microphones hooked up to each other and hopefully this is working because this would be the most ideal situation uh, depending if the actually the camera um, audio was was not so good so let's get outside and see what happens wow and it like really oh my goodness I'm not even sure how long I can stay out here uh, this is this is looking a little bit scary but for sure you can um, for sure the wind is blowing, um, so I'm super curious to see if this whole situation helps uh, because again I live in Florida and it's, it's always crazy windy, Like, but I like to be outside, but it's always, always, always crazy windy. And um, the sky looks super ominous, so I'm not going to walk too far from the house. Uh, it was pretty crazy yesterday with the, with the storms. So this is just to give you an idea, um, I'm actually going to walk over to the... Uh, to the street um, just to see if there's a difference with the noise reduction. I'm actually walking into the wind, so we'll see um, how it does with the lavalier. And I really hope this uh, setup works because this would be the most ideal thing. Um, given all the things I usually like to do, like running around, hiking, walking, checking things out. So let's see how this, how this works. And I would normally say that the street is very busy, but I think everyone's getting a little scared because maybe there's some crazy storm getting ready to start, it looks like. And on that note, I'm going inside because it's going to pour on me any second. But at least the camera's water resistant, right? Waterproof if I put it in its casing, so not too shabby. So it is a torrential downpour right now, but I just finished reviewing um, all the footage. I'm really, really curious to hear what you guys think about the audio. Um, I think I actually really do uh, like this setup. It does need just a, a touch of uh, post-production. I did actually hear some like hissing or something like that. I'm not sure if that was uh, because of the Bluetooth. Um, but at any rate, I, I think it is a good setup. So again, please let me know what you guys think. Please comment. Um, I'm really, really curious which one is, is the best choice for me. Um, so let me know in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. So please uh, let me know what you think. Thanks. <laughs>